okay hello dear friends good morning so this video we will do decimal multiplication multiplication and we will do three types of decimal multiplication and i will explain you the reason later on first we do the number first the number talk first decimal times a whole number a whole number such as five the second decimal times another decimal and the third one which is not so used often only when the teacher really want to have a hard time for you decimal times another decimal okay uh, a decimal times a fraction well they want to give us trouble so we will do this also this is these are the three scenarios we will go with the first one decimal times a whole number let's bring up any number 0 0.5 times 5 so when we do decimal multiplication what i remember is forget about anything nothing exists in this world do the number number work five times five is 25. now the second thing i count how many decimal places behind decimal point one decimal place so come back to this result it should be one decimal place we are not going to lose anything right okay the second one 0 0.04 times 4 what is the result <clears throat> do not see any of the decimal points any of the zero we see the real whole number 4 times 4 which is 16 and now we count the zero the decimal places uh, and decimal places behind the decimal uh, behind the decimal one place two place so you have two place under the behind the decimal point go back to this number one place two place so the result is 0 0.16 okay the third one 0 0.0004 times 5 50 ooh, ooh, this one so forget about all the decimal points oh, forget about all the numbers or zeros only think about the real number so the this one the real number is four and this one the real number or the whole number is 50. four times 50 four times five is 20 right there is a zero put it back now we will count the decimal place one two three four we have four places behind the decimal right so one two three we need to add another so one two three four and these two zeros you must have it because it's four times 50 the real result of it okay number four 0 0.0008 times 125 up to this stage if you come to my class you already know 8 times 125 is 1000 remember it there are some number facts you always have to remember forget about all the decimal the zeros before the real number the whole number is 8 we see the whole number the whole number is 125 so see this result 8 times 125 we know is 1000 and this is the real result of this whole number right now we count the decimal places 1 2 3 4 4 1 2 3 4 that's good so the result is 0 0.1 because the zeros behind the real number 
behind the, the number of a decimal point does not count, right? So we can we can delete it. So that's <coughs> decimal times a whole number. Now the second thing, we will do some conclusion later on. The second type is decimal times another decimal. Once you know the method, forget about any of the non not important whole number. We count the whole number. We do the whole number first. 4 times 8, 32. How many decimal places? 1. How many here? 1. 1 decimal place behind the decimal point. Right? 1 plus 1 is 2. 1, 2. We, ha we have to return it. Right? We have used it. We have borrowed it. We have just forget about it. At the end of the day, you have to return it to put to the back place. Put back to its place. Second one, 0 0.004 times 0 0.0008. Okay? It looks complicated. Forget about everything. The whole number, the real number is 4. Whole number, real, real number is 8. 4 times 8, 32. Now we count. 1, 2, 3. Now we count. 1, 2, 3, 4. <clears throat> Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who la la? That's the result. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And this is the result. Can you believe it? Use your calculator. I know I'm right. I do not even need calculator to prove it. You can use calculator to prove it. Because I know. Because I know the method. Okay, the third one. <coughs> 0 0.4 times 0 0.25. Forget about the not important, they are important, but this time we only see the whole number. 4 times 25 is 100. One dollar has four quarters, we know this, right? So it's 100. Write down the real number first. Now we count the decimal place. 1, and this one, 1, 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1, Two, three, good enough. So the result is 0 0.1. This is equivalent. Whichever way you write is good. Okay, now we do a hard one. Number four, 0 0.008 times 0 0.125. We know 8 times 125. We know it. It's a fact because you are already in fourth grade. Some of the number facts you have to remember. This is one of them, right? 8 times 125 is 1,000. Write it down. Leave enough room for your decimal place. <clears throat> now, 1, 2, 3, we count it, 3. 1, 2, 3, we count it, 3. The other time in class, students count this. No, do not count. We start everything from this beautiful decimal point. Behind it, maybe I should put it in another beautiful red color. That's important. So this is red. This is red. Behind these red dots, one, two, three. One, two, three. One. 3 plus 3 is 6. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 behind the decimal point. And that is the result. You can also write it like this. So decimal times decimal. Okay. <clears throat> now, decimal times a fraction. 
first, 0 0.4 times um, 10 over, uh, 5 over 10. So first you change it into a decimal, 0 point, I will write like this, so you can see I'm not changing anything, I'm a good honest person, a good honest kind teacher, so I will not change them. This is a 5 over 10, so it's in the tenths place, right, tenths place. Now we can do the point, equal to 4 times 5 is 20, 1 behind the decimal point, 1 behind the decimal point, 2. 1 plus 1 equal to 2. Do we know it? I think we know it. 1, 2. And that's it. Okay, another thing. The number becomes a little bit more complicated. 0 point, um, zero 0.08 times 5 over 8. Ooh, that is complicated. Right? How about we change the first one? We can change into a decimal, but we can change the first one into a fraction, which becomes easier. This is in the hundreds place, so it's divided by a hundred, right? Eight over a hundred times five over eight. You can do directly 40 over 800. Why not we clean up before the house get messy, right? I have a habit. Whenever there is a chance, I clean it up. I do not let the house get too messy. 8 and 8, we can divide. We can, we can uh, cross cancel. The bottom is 100. That is gold. When this is 10, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, the first number is one, that is gold, absolutely gold. So this is five over a hundred, which is zero point zero five in the hundreds place, right? Make sense? Okay, now, okay, now let's conclude it. So in class, I draw a step. So when we do something, we do it step by step. And this, is, this means my step by step method. Uh -oh. yeah. oh, that takes time. In class, when I draw it, also take me some time. And uh, since I was drawing this on a whiteboard so often, I become quite, uh, quite good, quite clear at it. And the students say, "Oh, how did you draw it? <laughs> you need to have some tricks to, 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 to impress the class." Anyway, this is a step we do step by step. Now I explain you the step by step. When you do Decimal, decimal, multiplication, multiplication, take some time, write it down. First, let's say 0 0.08 times 0 0.06, okay? First, first, let me take a selfie, okay? I'm not taking a selfie, I will do something. Forget about any number. Do the whole number. Find the whole number. Whole number, uh, 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 sorry, number multiplication. So eight times six, these are not whole number. This does not, uh, 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 the, the, the real number, the real number. When the word started to exist, the real number. And the word started without zero. You know, if you know the history of mathematics, without zero started with a real number from one. So eight 
is a real number. Six is a real number. We do only the whole real number. Eight times six equal to 48. Second step, count decimal place. Decimal, count decimal place number. Count decimal place. One, two. One, two. Behind the decimal point, okay? Behind the decimal point. This is a stop sign. I should do it in this uh, what the octangle stop sign. This is the stop sign. Okay? The decimal point is the stop sign. Stop. Stop it. I don't like it. Stop sign. Okay, that is a stop sign. That is a stop sign. Stop, stop there and count behind that stop sign. One, two, one, two. Okay, which is four. Okay, the number three is return your debt. Shall we call it a redemption? Oh, that's a cool word. Redemption. Dumption. Oh, well, I didn't say redemption in class. I say in return or put it back. Put the decimal place back. Return the decimal debt. Return the decimal place back to your result. Return the decimal place. Four. So, 48. You need to return four. One, two, three, four. And ta da! That is our glorious result. Are we doing decimal? Yes, we are. If we are doing decimal, our decoration will be decimal, 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 because decimal has a point. And I love decimal because it has a point. So that is a result. So this is a step-by-step -step illustration. Maybe if I'm an English teacher, if I'm an English literature teacher, Unfortunately, I'm not. Unfortunately, I am not. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I will uh, uh, make it into something like a poetry. But I do have a poetry in in uh, decimal uh, um, uh, addition. Make a line. See the sign. Make a line, and you will be fine. So you see the dot. Make a line according to the decimal place. Behind the decimal and do the calculation. See the sign. Make a line and you will be Okay. Thank you very, very much. Bye-bye, friend.